peeps and entomologists, it's Jane. I'm here with Fable down in the studio and he has gone <laughs> going crazy. He's just, he's the cutest. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do some art for you. So we're gonna do that. And we're going to use the new Ladybug Dotters in the Neon High Roller Edition. This is the third edition of Ladybug Dotters. The large set comes in this beautiful package and then there's the smaller pastel set and that comes in the same package as this one. But for on my desk, I like to put them into uh, little pots because it's just easier for me to use them. I store them tip down after I've activated them. So I've got all of the warm colours from both sets in one little cup but we've got the cools, the warms. Grace Kelly, she is going to get the neons. So Grace Kelly there. Oh, so cute. So I'll turn this around and then we'll do some artwork. I'll just, I'll show you how I use neon. Neon is like sparkle. Uh, sometimes the less you use, the more powerful it is. Um, and it makes it really stand out because it can, not always, but it can become a little bit overwhelming for your artwork if you just suddenly, if there's just too much, there's a balance to be had. But then again, art is in the art beholder. I'm not saying that I'm the uh, know-it-all of art and that there are any rules around neon or sparkle. Um, and what, and we, can have, we can have them both together. We can do whatever we want. Anyway, let's just see what happens. I... This whole video is actually the edited version of a live video that I did in my Facebook group. You can join the Facebook group. It's called Jane Davenport Mixed Media Artemologists to see the whole thing. But in this edited version, I just want to give you an overview of the fun that I've been having with the new Ladybug Dotters in the neons. So I'm in one of my journals and I'm just finishing up a page that I started, I've got a face that I've drawn in markers and I'm adding some of my washi tape in the Godiva tresses. This is an abstract, um, beautiful flowing print that is on the washi tape and when you pop it down, you can create hair. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the hair onto this page and I thought this might be a fun one to add some of the dotters because the drawing that I've already got there does have those bright colors. I like to keep my ladybug dotters at hand in a nice little cup and I store them tip down so that they're ready to go. I have activated them but it's been a week or so so that's going to be dry. I need to do a few little dabs before the ink can flow through because this will dry because of the ink formula, it's not going to dry hard, the sponge won't dry hard, but you can add a little bit of water to it before you even start, which is usually what I do. So I'm just going to pop my water here. I'm just going to dip the tip of my ladybug dotter like that and press it onto the page. So you'll get a different effect if you've got water on the tip and the harder you press, the bigger the circle. And as I said, it when you first put the ink down, it might not form complete circles, which I love. Uh, you can also twirl and twist the dotter to get more of a complete solid circle if you want one straight off the bat. So the lighter you press, the smaller the dot, the harder you press, the bigger the dot. You don't need to hammer the page. You're really just going tap, tap, tap. They're dotters, not uh, weapons. <laughs> Of mass destruction or hammers just tap 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 dot 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 that's going to give you everything that you uh, desire and I just have to point out how funny I use of course a filter when I'm doing my video because hello the face so <laughs> I hadn't taken the filter off when I started filming this and the filter is applying to my drawing giving her uh, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of highlight on the nose, hilarious. It's also dampening down the colour and making this not look as neon as it does. I remember to take the filter off a bit later in the video, so apologies. So it looks a little bit insipid here. But as you saw at the very beginning of this whole video, the colours are gorgeous and neon bright. 
and I'm just going to pop the video into high speed what I'm doing what I'm talking about here is just going through the different colors general chit chat <laughs> like I said you can see the whole video uh, but we've got the Club Tropicana which is the green Tally Ho which is the blue Caesars Palace which is the neon purple Flabulous Flamingo is the pink the Sahara is the yellow and orange is Golden Nugget and I want to create a container around that crazy hair so I'm using the LTQ or licensed to quill pen and just adding a little bit of dark detail I'll probably put gold on those earrings at some point adding a little bit of darkness to the blackest part of the face which are usually the uh, eyelashes and in between the lips or the darkest part of the face I added a little bit of detail to the eyebrow with a drama stick just very lightly feathered a little bit of uh, brown line across there some highlight in the eyes with the white storytime paint pen and I'm using the paint pen on top of the neons to oh, add a little bit more visual texture now I decided I needed something at the bottom of the page to ground it so I'm using some more of the washi tape the Godiva tape I'm just folding it over to the back of that page for the time being and I can trim it off later one of the beautiful things about using washi tape in an art journal or for your art is that it's repositionable it's removable so if you decide you don't like something it's easy to change your mind so I love tools that allow me to audition ideas because I find that makes me feel very very uh, free with what I'm doing I'm using black marble from the original 12 set of ladybug dotters and you can see that I've dabbed a little bit of the ink onto my splat mat and dipping it in the water to soften the color off to a gray and just experimenting now if the dauber is wet you can take it across a smooth piece of paper but you really want that the dauber to be nice and lubricated otherwise you're just going to wear out the foam uh, and lessen the life or longevity of your lovely daubers so just go easy with that so I'm, I've got them nice and juicy as I'm drawing with them which I do quite a lot and I've added that soft gray uh, into her eye sockets and into the shadowed areas of her of my subjects eyes to give a little bit more dimension adding a few little dots here and there on the page and using that technique of dipping it in the water um, having some of the ink on my splat mat and dipping it back in there when I want a little bit more uh, um, ink in there I could also have a little piece of paper next to me or um, testing to see how dark it is if I wasn't sure but because I use these a lot I just trust the mess and just trust with what's going but I want just some light gray uh, moving into black uh, down there on the bottom page just, just add some weight to the bottom of the page so I've got a flow of those dark colors to try and balance all of these bright neons uh, that are in the face and now in my background and at this point I'm thinking she's giving me ginger from casino vibes she's giving me Sharon Stone vibes and looking at the page the background is far more vibrant than the main subject matter so even though this video is about the neon inks I for as far as this page goes the page is really about the subject and for me face you know the eyes are the story so I wanted to add some vividness into the eyes so I've added a bit of lemon slice to bring a rather neon yellow I thought that might be a bit much in the eyes but we could do that too and I'm also using a little bit of ball gown which is from the pastel set which is called the having a ball set the big 12 set is the spot on set and the new ladybug daughters are the height roller see how these are all plays on words for circles I'm always thinking in themes <laughs> I love naming my art supplies and I'm using this light aqua ink that's in ball gown to add a little bit of shadow add a little bit of cheekbone uh, going down towards the mouth there and putting it over some of these other bright colors which I think were alcohol markers and 
just toning down some of the really bright colors so that there's more variation uh, in the brights that are in the subject's face. So even though these ladybug dotters are very bright and they look like they're just going to be great for mark making and backgrounds and you know maybe keeping little dots in bullet journals, simple uses, they can actually be used for more sophisticated and subtle application in your artwork. This is an art journal page. I'm not going for masterpiece here. I'm my aim is to have fun to feel like the artist that I am, the creative being that I am. That's my goal when I create in my art journal. But I really did love, start to love this page. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'm going to keep pushing this and I wanted to make up a concoction to get a darker color to put around the neon spots that are in the background so that it looks like paparazzi flashes or like this is ginger in casino you know, waltzing through the, um, the casino with all eyes on her hair blowing in the breeze looking gorgeous so i've used a little bit of hydrangea incredible ink which is from my collection and some black mermaid marker and i'm using uh, to apply it onto my page i'm using one of my ink brushes just has some water in it but rather than squeezing the water through it i'm dipping it into my ink into my water and just creating and just painting literally around uh, the little spots that are on the page. Now, this is the kind of thing that I find very cathartic. And you sometimes you think, oh, I can't be bothered doing something like that. Let me tell you, once you start, because it is a pattern, your brain will just, and hands will just uh, slide into the process. And I think this is, this. well, I can only speak for myself, really. This gives me actual true art relaxation uh, because I'm doing I'm, I'm working on something that's a pattern I'm not having to make major creative decisions they've already in, been made to get me to this point now I'm just doing some I don't want to say grunt work but I just did <laughs> I'm just doing some pattern work so we'll let that dry now I'm just putting a little Teflon sheet in between my pages and I've still got this leftover ink, which I don't want to waste. So I'm just going to pop it down on the page. Uh, just add more water uh, into it. And I, I don't like wasting ink. I like to use it all up. And then I've got this random background that I can start. And I thought, well, while I'm here, I think I'll add some of the fabulous Flamingo, which you can... Because of the lighting and the way I'm filming this, it's not picking really up on how beautiful and bright uh, the pinks are. But also I'm dipping my Ladybug Dotter into that dark ink that I've mixed. It won't damage it at all. It won't permanently cross-contaminate, but I will get an ombre and mixture of the inks as I go. Uh, what that might do though is stain the foam at the top of my dauber, but that doesn't really worry me. So that's fine. I'm also going to add a little bit of sparkle in here. This is an ink brush that I've made uh, with my fairy dust um, pigments and I've got a combination of different uh, fairy dust which is from another video and it's got water, the fairy dust pigment, some of the gum arabic which is binder and uh, a little bit of clove oil which helps um, gives antibacterial properties and just adding a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of neon, a little bit of that dark ink. Nice little background for the future, for future use at some point. And then I thought, hmm, I've got stencils sitting here on my table. I'm going to try putting my <laughs> ladybug daughters through the stencils, which I haven't done before. And this would work maybe even better um, with if the background was dry because it's just going to spread the ink out but for some extra visual texture I really love this technique and I can't wait to do this a little bit more like I said um, it kind of worked it was I like I enjoyed doing this it was fun but I think I could do it even better if I leave, leave it to dry like it would be a more precise application and I'm rubbing it with a tissue just to press more of the ink through 
but I love the effect. So I've got a nice, and I, I clean off my stencils, I'm one of those. Uh, because, you know, next time I go to use it, might have a bit of ink that I don't want to plop down on my artwork and activate, etc. So mixing with other inks, mixing them with watercolour, mixing them with stencils, whatever you feel like, these are all going to be fun uses for your ladybug dodgers. I also use them to connect disparate subjects uh, in my art journals. This is a journal that I've uh, made from a, an old atlas and I've got red on the left side, I've got red on the right hand side. This girl now she reminds me of the actress from the queen's gambit which i just love that movie well that series was terrific and uh, i'm just using some of the again just loving the fabulous flamingo which is going to be quite a soft subtle pink on top of vintage papers and at this point of the video i discovered i could make teardrops something else i didn't know i've got gold uh, watercolor gesso over the top of a map of South America. I'm dabbing and brushing my little daub up so that I get this little teardrop shape and I was loving that. So that was with the color Tally Ho, which is a beautiful turquoise. And all of the colors in the neon high rollers are actually glow in the dark, uh, but not the blue. It doesn't glow in the dark for whatever reason. Glowing in the dark wasn't one of my priorities. It's just something that one of my Daven peeps, people in the fabulous Facebook group noticed. Also adding a little bit of that blue into her eyes, a little bit of shadow, a little bit into the nose, which you might think is quite an odd thing to do, but it just accentuates the shadow. You notice that when I first put it down, when you go back to look at the page, you don't notice those sorts of colors. And already she's weird anyway, she's gold. Adding a little bit of highlight. So why not have blue shadows, right? Adding a little bit of highlight with one of my Storytime paint pens. That colour is called Snow Queen. I think I use it on just about every art page that I do. <laughs> Uh, also adding it around her eyes just to give them a little bit more volume. I just want the fa the features to sort of come glowing out of this gold. This is one of those sorts of pages that will develop over time. And every time I go through the journal, I add a little bit. So I'm adding a little bit of golden nugget to her lips and adding those little neons on this fairly absorbent surface just adds a little bit of ooh la la. So I've flipped forward a couple of pages. I've got paintings that I've done here with my layer cake paint. So I'm just showing you that so that I can show you me working with them on more of the layer cake um, paintings that I've got. On the right hand side I've created that all with layer cake and on the left I've got some of my collage paper, some passport pages from an old passport. The drawing styles of each of the girls is kind of different even though I've drawn them both but it would be nice to try and make these pages talk to each other and this is one of the major uses like I said before of how I use the ladybug daughters myself so i'm taking some of the there were some pink splops in the background that's a technical term splop and adding some dots and splops as well i'm using pink macaroon and pink champagne and a little bit of the flamingo because i've got the three different pinks from the three different sets so i'm mixing and matching them there i might even add in a little bit of the um, purple because that is a, a kind of a pinky purple and the inks from the ladybug daughters are going to react differently on different surfaces so here I've got gesso underneath um, on the other side I've got matte medium because I've collaged on the other pages I've got just the actual watercolor paper but different papers are going to react differently uh, on a thinner plain paper the ink probably will go through the paper because it has got you know nice sort of um, pigment load in it and you'll just have to play with that so that you'll get a soft effect brighter effect just depending on whatever it is that you're using them on top of like all art supplies of course adding a little bit of uh, detail into her eyes with my fountain pen I've got a dark ink loaded into that and um, that's got that brush tip that's an actual real nylon brush tip that's what I'm showing you there 
I love this pen. Just going to show you this journal page uh, from Art Venture, <laughs> a journal prompt um, challenge that we had in the group to add some energy to the page and some effervescence and uh, having some background detail. And this was another random background that I created with the Ladybug Dotters and da -da -da, adding water to them as well. Uh, it's just on a um, some of the paper from one of my journals that I've bound into this atlas. And then on another flip through, I've added just some little flesh tones. I must have had leftover paint on my brush and then just decided to put in some little mannequin heads to sit and wait for another day when I'm creating in this particular journal, which just happens to be this day that you are watching with me. <laughs> I'm using that uh, brush fountain pen uh, to just sketch in some little details. And I was really having fun seeing how the that pen went on top of the layer cake paint. Went pretty well. And as I continue to draw in the background, just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and just having a look at some of the different ways that I'm using my ladybug daughters. Uh, as with, I think, just about everything I've shown, in you, shown you in this video, they're all JDHQ exclusives, which means you will find them at janedavenport.com. Like I said, you can come and join the Facebook group if you want some inspiration and to show me what you're creating with the art supplies that I've designed for you. I love, 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 love designing art supplies and I adore seeing how everyone uses them. And if you want to learn more about art journaling, drawing and painting, I've got my books and my online workshops, which are very welcome to come and check out. So that's goodbye from Fable and I in the art studio and we hope to see you in the next video. <laughs> goodbye. Um, I hope you have oh, a fabulous day review hour. Bye. <laughs>